how can we tell these people inside how to use that money? What can I'm going to go see those uh, people who are registering and let them know we need help from them. Also, the governor. Governor gave last year a CSL, you know, money so we could have a, a CSL meetings. But this year, I don't know. But we need seniors' uh, help so they can learn from seniors. I know this, or maybe you do because you see. I went through all the navigation on on what. Uh, a son, a loved one, a caregiver has to go through uh, when you're dealing with a senior. So I personally know uh, the, the uh, difficulties in, in getting things done while as a caregiver, as a son, and, uh, and taking care of a loved one. We are the majority, the largest majority in California the one state that has the largest majority of seniors. We also right now currently outnumber the children in the state of California. We have a continuing generation of seniors continuing to work, paying taxes, and doing the best they can to provide whatever they need for themselves and for others. So I seek that everybody look at Fresno Madera area and uh, at the valley. We are the agricultural center of the United States. While a lot of people may believe that us as millennials only care about ourselves and are only focused on issues that affect our generation, well, there's a lot of us that really care about our seniors. And they're going to work really hard to make sure that we have retirement security and retirement stability for our seniors because A, we understand the implications on our generation, but B, these are our loved ones. These are the people in our lives we love most. And we want more than anything to make sure that they feel comfortable and that they feel confident with their situation in life. And you know what? They've earned the ability to feel comfortable and to feel proud and to feel conf confident in their senior years, especially when they, when they retire. So I'm, I'm committed to making sure that our senior issues stay prominent in the legislature and that we work really hard to make sure our senior population is taken care of. Elders are being abused. Just talk to any district attorneys throughout the state of California. This is a clear and present danger in the state of California and we've got to act and put uh, attention to this every single day. My teachers were, uh, were school teachers and they may be retired now but they continue to contribute to our communities and our families. They mentor, they volunteer, they provide comfort and care to seniors and children and their families. And if that's not enough, if that's not enough reason to listen to seniors, let's remind legislators that seniors vote. I'm honored to be here as one of you, among you, working with you, uh, doing everything we can to make sure that the voice of the senior population in this state and country is heard. We have a lot to offer. And I think it's really important that we make that clear. This is about the new Medicare cards that's coming. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah. If I had one message for California, step up, step in, get into it, do something. Everybody has a little bit that they can help with. Maybe your help is something hard, like helping a senior who's being abused. Maybe yours is just making sure that a senior gets to their hair appointment. Maybe yours is writing a letter to your legislator to say that you believe that senior issues matter and you want to see your taxpayer tax money spent that way. Get involved.